Hello friends, this is Irwin. And now the clutches are on. And the reason is the marking here. It's gonna be drilled some holes here to fasten it with. And then I'm gonna the fire is gonna be wrapped and epoxy is gonna be closed. Oh, this is it. This the marking. It's going to be holes. I even got the ropes in easily. So that's a good thing. Hello, friends. Now the vector wins. It's in position. I'm not sure. It's pointing in the right direction to the tiller in the back. It's not precise, but it's not evident how to make that. So now I screw it down and uh, do some wrapping around the fair leads. So back here you can see the tiller and the lines come in here. Now I will drill new holes here and I come here and here is the vector winch and then the lines going to go all the way down to the forward bulkhead to get some stretch in there. So here is the view from the window. Coming up, there's the bed, and I just stretch my arm up here and adjust it. It's really good. So now I took down the vector winch and marked what it's going to be. Now the next step is to mark where all the handholds going to be, and also I go to uh, Finishing touch to the vector winch. Hello, friends. Now, yeah, what is called these things? Pallets are wrapped around and set in epoxy, so they should stay in place. Oh. Like the man with, who don't agree about the wing knots, he said it's too strong. Well, this is too strong too. But I like to have things at sea surrounded by two strong things. Makes me feel good. Now, for example, after a few years, maybe one of the clutches would start acting up. Maybe the screw had corroded a bit and had to use force. And in the ordinary nuts, maybe it would slip and then I would be in real trouble. I couldn't change it, I couldn't get it away and I'm a thousand miles away from port. Now with the wing nuts, there's a magnitude more strong so that's the thing thank you